So here we have the Ford Focus on a 64 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside from there. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. We have the rev counter on the left-hand side, speedometer on the right-hand side. In the middle at the bottom, we have the fuel gauge and cool and temperature gauge. Above that, you can see the total mass of the car. They are 54,541. You can change the information displayed in that trip computer section by using buttons on the steering wheel for various bits of individual trip computer information, or you can have these four pieces of info all displayed simultaneously, and there are other uh, menus available to you as well, as you can see just here. And the buttons that I was using to do that are on the left hand side of the steering wheel. Over on the right hand side we have stereo and phone controls. The phone controls can only be used after you paired the phone to the car. And that is done using the stereo in the center and the screen directly above it. So from on here, you've got various different selections you can make, including phone, as you can see. And it's asking to pair a device. We are gonna close that for now. Uh, when it comes to music in this car, we have, of course, got the radio. Uh, and as you can see, uh, we have DAB radio, AM, uh, we've also got FM as well. Uh, every push of the radio button will take you through a different preset. We've also got ways we can listen to our own music. Of course, a CD player just here. A USB device, as you heard, being announced and saw on the screen just there. Uh, and you can connect up that anytime you wish to. And we've got uh, Bluetooth audio as well, so you can stream your music wirelessly once you've connected your phone. We then have the main volume for the stereo. Deadlock, so you can lock the car doors from the outside. And of course, our hazard warning lights. Below that, we have the air conditioning, which is turned on at the minute, so it's off or on. You can select the temperature, the fan speed, and direction of the air from here. You can also then recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature you set on this middle dial. With a rear heated screen, a proper heated front screen as well. We can turn our parking sensors on and off from here. This car's also got autonomous parking, meaning that it's able to park itself, uh, as you can see being displayed on the screen now. It will tell you what gear to be in, um, and using the parking sensors when to start or accelerate and brake within the vehicle as well, and it will do the steering for you. You can turn it off whenever you wish to. Uh, and then over here, you can turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. That system is off when that light shows. And then finally, we have a six-speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.